June 16th, 2018. It is officially opening day of bass season. Boat is packed. I got myself a fresh coffee. There's an absolute load of tattoos on the front of the deck. Tattoo Elite. It's not crazy early. It's right around 6 a.m. I know you guys are like, what? Ian didn't get up crazy early to go bass fishing on opening day? Today we are pre-fishing for tomorrow's tournament. In the past, I have got busted by getting to a lake too early, finding fish at, let's say, 5.30 a.m., blasting off the next day and the fish not being there because it, it, it we weren't fishing within tournament hours so we didn't we didn't get in trouble or anything it just means that the fish aren't on that location during tournament hours so it's really useless information so we're gonna get there the first spot we're gonna try is right close to where we're gonna launch so we'll get an idea of what's going on in the lake in the time period during the tournament tomorrow rather than crazy early you know top water bite that's useless to us or crazy late top water bite got to be off the water by 5 p.m. let's get some gas let's get on the road the boat is full of gas. I got cold drinks, everything we need. I just talked to Sean McCall. He is going to meet me at the ramp on Sturgeon Lake. I can't tell you right now how excited I am. Get up there. About an hour drive, so let's hit the road. We should be there right around 7 o'clock. Launch this boat and see. We can pull off today for tomorrow. We can have a go at this tournament deal. Best day of the year right here. Opening day of bass fishing. We are here. Bass fishing is officially open. There is a lake there with bass in it. The day couldn't get any better than this. Rod's on the deck, no baits on them yet. Found this guy. Yo, what's up? Merry Bassmas. How excited are you? Pretty pumped. We're gonna catch some fish today. Yeah, we tomorrow. are. Tomorrow, big tournament. Yep. The big return. All these are empty for you. Thank you. And the front one there under the Daiwa logo. All right. We got lots of storage. Shani just brought me these. No puncture call clips for the weekend for the season. That way you don't have to poke holes in those bass's mouth. Garmin unit is there. We are going to get this boat ready. We are going out pre-fishing. We need to find some fish for the tomorrow. We have a good showing at the first CSFL event of the year. So it is go time. I can't remember the last time I was this excited to fish. He's in it. He's in it. Go time.
It is 4.58. We just pulled the boat out. Got to be off the water by 5 p.m. The morning was awesome. It was looking good this morning, eh? Yep. Pulled a couple good fish right quick. We're really going to have to count on that canal tomorrow to produce. We, we caught one fish and we got the heck out of there. But tomorrow we're going to hunker down. We're going to really put the... Yeah, we got a couple good spots. We got yep. fish, so hopefully... I'm feeling good. There. Today, like during pre-fish, for anybody who doesn't know, we don't really want to catch a ton of fish. We basically just wanted to know where some spots that had fish. And then tomorrow we're going to lay the hammer down and try to get every fish we possibly can. Yeah. Yeah, we are. End up with the most weight. So we're gonna pack the boat up. Tatuas were awesome. I got, I think I used every rod in my boat. It's all out in the front. We gotta pack this all away. And then about an hour home, I gotta eat some food, man. It's a long day of fishing. It's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow. I'm sure I'm sunburned, but I'm excited about tomorrow. My first tournament in two years. How can you not be pumped? Made it home from Sturgeon. Good day. But on the way home, I lost my transom saver off the back of my boat. 7.30 now. Bass Pro Shops is an hour and a half away. And we need to go. And Bass Pro seems to be the only place open. If we get real lucky, maybe we can find a Canadian tire on the way. But I need to get on the road. Still got to deal with all these rods, all these reels. Get them set up for tomorrow. And edit this vlog. So we are in a rush. And that's an understatement. Got the transom saver. I can't even tell you how appreciative I am to Canadian Tire and Bowmanville called. I told them what happened and that I wasn't going to make it for 8 p.m. when it closed. Sports manager held the store over open four minutes so that we could buy this. So a huge thank to Canadian Tire in Bowmanville. Amber, that was close, eh? Like Very really close. close. Like Thank we had close. to drop Amber. Like I am parked in the garden section on the side of the road and Amber. On the sidewalk. On the sidewalk. Amber ran in and like put her arm through the door and was like, oh no, you're not closing today. But they oh, left it up front ninja. big thanks to the sports manager who who made this happen thanks dude look at my sunburn honey mm -hmm. it's gonna get worse tomorrow now home to get ready for tomorrow well sturgeon lake pre-fish for the csfl event is in the books fishing it looked like it was going to be a rocking day this morning when we got started the the fish were going but and as soon as it cleared up the fishing slowed down dramatically we didn't get any more big bites but like the great mike iconelli says you got to fish in the moment and that's exactly what we're going to do tomorrow we are going to beat the snot out of that channel where I hook the good one first thing in the morning that's where we're headed when you guys watch this Sean and I will probably be there fishing ultra slow the Daiwa Tatu Elite Series is run roll frog rod is what I use today we're really needed to come through tomorrow all we can do is fish for the moment and you know what I really believe in all the years that I, I've tournament fished guys who 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 win and just smash them there's a, something about fishing where you just wake up and it's your day to you know make it rain and it just seems like fish jump in the boat and for you know how the rest of the field they just got to grind away so tomorrow Sean and I are gonna have a great day i'm so excited to be fishing a tournament again i didn't fish anything last year i'm so excited to do it i will try to capture as much of the action as i possibly can we got a tournament fish but i'm going to try to keep those gopros running if we miss a fish i'll just turn them on and show you what we got hopefully it all comes together top 10 finish should be real nice at the the first back uh tournament back but worry about getting five fish five good fish and we'll see where the cards land it's been a, a long day i forgot how much of a grind pre-fishing and tournaments and filming all in one is so my plan now edit this vlog make sure it's up there for you tomorrow then i'm gonna go upstairs hopefully eat some dinner retie get all my stuff ready for tomorrow at the front door sean mccall and i gotta be up 4 30 we need to be on the road at the latest by quarter to five so more like gotta be up at four but this guy's getting up at 4 30 make sure if you're watching this today the day it's released sunday tune into the csfl on facebook three o'clock you can watch everybody weigh in there's a, a, a tremendous amount of talent that'll be fishing the tournament tomorrow somebody's gonna get a giant bag of fish we'll see you soon